Hey guys, so in 1992, villagers in Cheyenne, Beikun, Longyu, China, decided to pump water out of one of the five lakes nearby. It wasn't an ordinary pond. It was actually thought to be bottomless. And the villagers had to do this because they lacked water for their fields. So they bought a communal pump and put it to work. As it turned out, a huge surprise was waiting for them. So after five days of uninterrupted pumping, a rectangular entrance appeared into an ancient cave. Now, 12 days later, the pond was officially dried up. It turned out that there was an entire complex of handmade caves under the village that are not only astonishingly beautiful, but on the scale never before seen in underground construction. So they first just drained one cave. The cave's area turned out to be about 2,000 square meters, 21,527 square feet, and was about 30 meters or 98 feet deep. After that, they decided to start draining all the other caves, you know, thinking that they were gonna find a whole bunch of surprises inside. So in total, the underground grottos were spread throughout the village and they made up a group of 24 artificial caves made out of sandstone and were made over 200 years ago. Now, they were never registered in any historical documents, and all the walls and ceilings of the caves were decorated with carvings supposedly made with a chisel. I mean, we can only guess how much time and energy was spent to dig these caves using you know, primitive tools. Since the total area of the caves is over 30,000 square meters, that's 322,000 plus square feet. And get this, experts estimate that during excavation, over 1 million cubic meters, that's 35,314,000 cubic feet of rock was removed. That is an unbelievable amount of rock. So the caves also have drains and stone stairs and pools, and they're all made according to one design. The dome of each cave is supported by columns, and they expand from the entrance and have three vertical walls and one wall at a 45 degree angle. The cave system is called Zionohide Stone Chambers and was made into a tourist attraction. Lighting was installed to highlight the cave's beauty. Five caves are currently open to tourists. Their walls are decorated with various images of people and animals. Some are very symbolic, like horses and fish and birds that symbolize land, water, and air. Concerts are also held in the Longyu Caves because they have fantastic acoustics. Nevertheless, there are still a lot of questions, like how are the caves preserved so long? Why was nothing damaged by the water? Who built them and why? Chinese history has no answers. The caves are never mentioned. They were forgotten. Intentionally or not, we're not sure. Scientists and historians continue to study the cave's walls. Maybe one day they'll crack this mystery. So that's all for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you learned something. Leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you again soon.